What is up, Barons? Welcome back to BTV. I'm Addison. And I'm Carter. So let's get started. The Art League will be hosting <laughs> Semi-Formal on Saturday, December 8th from 8 to 11 p.m. The theme this year will be Castaway, A Night by the Sea. Tickets will be on sale during all launches starting Monday, November 26th. This is open to all students. Tickets will be $15 a piece. And if you are bringing a guest, a guest form must be picked up and approved prior to purchasing the ticket. Guest tickets should be picked up as soon as possible. Here is the semi-formal guest pass information. Guest request forms are available from Mrs. Kemper in student services. The form is the student's and guest's responsibility to complete in a timely manner. We will not fax forms to other schools, nor will we call other schools for verbal approval. The form must be completed by the guest's school first before DHS administration will accept it for consideration. The form must be approved by DHS administration before a guest ticket may be purchased. Guest request forms deadline for approval Monday, December 3rd. For any further questions, please contact Ms. Mignolti. <laughs> now to grind my gears. Good morning, Barons. I am the one and only Big Al, and I'm here with Mr. Friels this morning for Grind My Gears. Now, Mr. Friels, what grinds your gears this morning? I tell you, Al, you know, there's a lot of things that grind my gears, like when people don't do the right thing. But one thing that grinds my gears is false advertising. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I hate false advertising. When people tell you something's going to be one way and you get something else. Yeah. The worst one for me is Subway. I mean, really? Seriously, eat fresh. You go in there and you want a sandwich that's fresh, right? And right. they got all this stuff there, but there's none of it's fresh. Like, really, there's bacon there. Do you see anybody at Subway frying bacon? No, that you don't. The bacon was fried somewhere else. There's nothing fresh about it. And seriously, all those little things they've got cut up there, mm -hmm. they're not growing them there. They, they're taking a plastic bag, ripping it open, and dumping them in. Now imagine that. It was cut up in some factory. And then it was shipped here to Auburn, Indiana. It sat there, and at the end of the day, they put it all away. And then they got it out the next day, and they sell it to you as fresh. That's the problem. There's just nothing fresh about anything at Subway. It grinds my gears. False advertising, Bill Gal. I just hate it. Yeah, what grinds my gears about Subway, too, is that I, I'm going to pile on Subway, is when the foot long is 11 inches. It's not I, It's not a foot. You know, like they can't measure again. It's just false advertising. Get a ruler. I was sitting at Subway one night, and they're putting everything back in the cooler. I said, is it going to be fresh tomorrow, or are you taking them back out of the cooler again? It just grinds my gears when people use false advertising to sell something out. Yeah, you don't see them cut that chicken in Subway stores, do you? Exactly. It comes out of that bag. And, and teriyaki chicken, really, they don't have anybody back there making teriyaki chicken. Where did it come from? If it was fresh, it'd be coming from there. I know. Well, anyway, Al, that's what grinds my gears. Hey, thank you, Mr. Frias. Hey, we'll see you next, next week, Barons, on Grind My Gears with the one and only Big Al. HOE is hosting a blood drive December 7th. See any of the HOE girls to get signed up to donate for something along those lines. And now to weather. Hello Barons, I'm in the monsoon in these treacherous conditions here today to give you the weather. Today there will be a chance for a stray snowflake like these right now uh, with the high of 28 with wind chill values in the middle upper teens and uh, I believe that because it's kind of chilly outside. Tonight there will be a low of 28 with a chance of snow. Tomorrow there will be a high of 34 with the chance of snow in the morning, then transitioning to a wintry mix between noon and 1 p.m. This could change, so keep a close eye on this if you want a, de a delay or a closure. Thursday night there will also be a very slight chance for a wintry mix and then rain afterwards. Friday there will be a high of 40 with a slight chance of rain. Friday night there will be a low of 34 and it's going to rain. So have a great day, Barons, and uh, let's go inside. Howdy, Barons. I'm Gavin with your local happenings. A three-hour hostage situation ended peacefully in Bern, Indiana after a man barricaded himself inside a building. During the investigation, officers discovered a man refusing to answer his door, according to Adams County Sheriff Shane Reckowig. The suspect then told police he had the hostage in the building. Finally, the suspect surrendered to police and was transported to a local hospital for medical treatment. He was then arrested and the hostage victim was released and unharmed. How nice. A first-time hang glider was forced to cling, for, cling on for his life after his instructor failed to attach a safety harness. Chris Gursky was on vacation with his wife in Switzerland when he decided to see the land from the sky. After taking off from a 4,000-foot 
mountain edge, Gursky had to hang on for more than two minutes as the pilot tried to safely land. Gursky did his best to remain calm and focus on how to safely deal with the situation. The pilot was also doing his best to help Gursky. He only suffered from a broken wrist as a result from the fall. I wonder if he listens to Tom Petty because he was free fallen. Hey Barons, Carter here. I'm Senora Jetmore's homeroom representative, and for our last Baron Pride meeting, we discussed ways we could give back to a local family in need. If you look outside of her classroom, there's a box with a pink sign on it asking for donations. We're looking for non-perishable canned goods, hats, gloves, truly anything helps. The last day the donation box will be open is December 7th. If you can give back, give back. Thanks. Now to a spotlight feature with Mr. Friels. Hey, what's up, Barons? We're here to talk about Spotlight Night, and here to talk about it a little more is Mr. Friels. Hey, Barons, you might have noticed a banner in the comments that says Spotlight Night. Jackson, when is Spotlight Night? December 13th. December 13th, from 7.30 to 8.30, you could have a chance to showcase your talent in the spotlight. Now, Jackson, if somebody's interested in Spotlight Night, what do they have to do? If you're interested, you need to send Mr. Friels an email letting him know you're interested, and then you have to send him a cut of what you're doing. Now, so that cut could just come from a real simple clip from your phone, but you email that to me, and if you get that in, and it's funny, it's below three minutes, it represents all of the parameters that you're gonna get in an email, then you've got one of those slots for Spotlight Night. Now, if you don't wanna participate in Spotlight Night, you can just come and watch your friends. Spotlight Night is open to anybody in the building. All you gotta do is show up that night to see 20 people showcase their talent. DHS has talent, now we just gotta see where it's at. We hope to see your auditions for Spotlight Night, and we hope to see you here on December 13th from 7.30 to 8.30 for Spotlight Night 2018. Attention, anyone not in a winter sport that is interested in playing baseball, there will be an informational meeting on Thursday, November 29th in room New Tech 101 at 8 a.m. Winter schedules will be dished out. And if you cannot attend for any reason, please see Coach Murdoch. Attention Spanish Club members, there will be a meeting in Mrs. Haynes' room D208. And now to lunch. Hey Barons, can you believe it's Wednesday? So we got uh, the week about half out of the way. So what's the plan for today, Carter? Anything special? No. Nothing special. How about it? It might snow, so you got your snow shovel out? Not yet. Not yet. You better get it out. Because there's a blizzard coming. I'm not sure when, but there's one coming. I hate blizzards. I do too, but you know what? We get the day off of school when that happens, right? Yes. You get to go hang out with Mr. Allison? No. No? All right. He likes to play hockey. You might go down here and hit the puck around Mr. Allison, all right? You ready for lunch? Yes. All right, so let's knock this out. Quesadillas with corn. How about that? And then one of Mr. Allison's favorite things to have for lunch. Chicken patty. Hey, there you go, Barons, with some more corn. And hey, you had that extra hour of sleep this morning, so hey, it's breakfast time here at the high school with scrambled eggs, pancakes, and hash browns. How about that? That's a winner there, isn't it? Yeah. And hey, check this out. Pete the Bear promoting Grandma's cookies with a little kickstart. And hey, it's Wednesday, so sell it, Carter. Big Daddy Pizza. Hey, you got it, Barons, with broccoli. So you guys have a great day. Give a shout out to Mr. Allison. So if you uh, see him this afternoon, say, hey, where were you at for BTV? He was busy down in the media center. So you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday. There you go, Barons. You got it. There will be an Art League meeting Monday and Thursday this week during homeroom. Attention Spanish Club members, there will be a meeting in Mrs. Haynes' room at D208. Not a sports and such. Last night, the girls' basketball team fell to the Carroll Chargers by a score of 51 to 30. Leading the Barons in scoring was Brooke Destiny Lockwood with 9 and Paige Pettis with 8. Brooke Destiny Lockwood also led the Barons in rebounding with 6, and Addison Ruby added 5. The Lady Barons are in action next this Saturday at home against Belmont. Also, the boys' basketball game this Friday against Northside has been canceled. And now to Deep Thoughts with Kendall Jardine. Welcome to Deep Thoughts with Kendall Jardine. Do rocks count as pets? Of course they count as pets, as long as you feed it and take it for walks. His name is Carl. Whoa!
Kendall. And I'm Addison. Have a day, Barons. Or they would have never missed a Christmas. No, no more, more ribbons, ribbons on the door. door. And when you watch your television, what you get is what, what you, you got. got. Cause when they own the information, oh, they can bend it all they want. Keep on waiting. Waiting on the world to change. Alright, you ready? Okay, go.